Hey, welcome back. It's Pat from PJM Scheduling. Uh, I thought I would uh, create a playlist on YouTube and just do P6 filters. Um, so this is our first series of just P6 filters, uh, ways to filter for the information inside P6. I always found that I would be wondering how to find different activities and filter for it. And uh, I thought this might be useful to, to you guys. So if, uh, if you have a filter in mind or information that you're wanting to see in your schedule and you don't know how to create a filter for it, leave a comment below. I'd love to uh, create a video for it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe um, so you get notifications when new videos come out. But today we'll just do a simple four week look ahead. Um, so if you're looking to filter for the next four weeks of activities that are scheduled to take progress, let me show you how I would do that filter. So uh, open up your schedule, go to your filter, and then let's create a new filter here. And we're just gonna call this four week look ahead. Uh, and we're gonna change the parameter to any of the following, uh, cause we want one, either of these following conditions can apply. So we're going to use uh, where the start date is within range of the data date as the low value and then the data date plus four weeks, four W. So that's what it looks like. And then, so that'll do any activity scheduled to start in the next four weeks. We'll do the same thing for the finish date. We'll say finish is within range of the data date and the data date plus four weeks. And the last um, activity that we wanna be able to capture is activities that are in progress. Because um, if you don't have this uh, filtered, you might have an activity that's in progress that's scheduled to finish after um, four weeks. And so we don't wanna miss that activity. So we'll just say that uh, activity status is equal to in progress. So those are the three uh, filters that we run. Make sure you, that parameter is set to any of the following. We'll press OK and apply. And then there is my four week look ahead. So that's how you do that. Again, feel free to leave a comment below and uh, let me know if you have a, a filter that you'd like me to run through. All right, take care, bye.